What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how you can use the Shopify analytics section in your Shopify website. We're going to go over all the basics here and explain what each metric means and how you can utilize it to increase your conversion rate and help grow your revenue of your Shopify store. Before we get into it, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy-to-read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. To access the Shopify Analytics section, once you start your homepage, you just want to click the Analytics tab on the left here. And once you're in the Analytics tab, it's going to show you all your information for the Shopify Analytics section. So this is the basic Shopify analytics on the regular plan. This is the $29 a month plan. This does change as you move up to the plus plans as Shopify has more detailed analytics here. So this is the overall dashboard. Now to explain the dashboard, I'm just gonna go over each metric. So the first metric here is total sales. This is total sales net refunds. So as you can see, $25 is my total sales for this test Shopify store. And I will show you the last few days giving you an idea with a nice graph. The second analytic is online store sessions. This is the number of people who visit your website and it can give you an overall idea of the traffic you're generating from your advertising campaigns or your SEO. The third section here is the returning customer rate. This is what percentage of customers came back to your website and purchased again in the last 30 days. So this will be a good metric to use as you can get an idea of the frequency weight customers are purchasing from your website. The higher the better, as this means a lot of customers are coming back to purchase again, which most likely means they liked your product or enjoyed your product. Moving on to online store conversion rate, this is your basic conversion funnel, as well as the overall conversion rate. So your conversion rate is the percentage of online store sessions, and it's the percentage that converted divided by the total online sessions. And that gives you your overall online store conversion rate. This can really depend on your Shopify niche to what percentage that is. Generally, most e-commerce stores have a conversion rate around 1%, but it can really vary depending on the traffic sources you have and how well you're funneling customers through the purchasing process. Really tweaking your online store conversion rate can make a huge difference in your overall revenue as you're making better use of your ad spend or your online sessions to increase those conversions, increasing your overall revenue. There's also basic analytics here on what percentage added to cart, what reached checkout, and how many actually converted, meaning they finished the checkout sequence. This should be used along with Google Analytics as you can get a really good idea of your funnel, and then you can make improvements on how to increase your overall conversion rate. The next metric here is average order value. This is the average cart that customers purchase with on your website. You want this to be a higher amount because this means customers are adding multiple products or more expensive products together when they are purchasing from your Shopify store. Total orders is quite self-explanatory. It's just the total number of orders for your Shopify website. Moving on here, you have other analytics. The section here is a good idea of which products are selling the most on your Shopify website. For me, this is just a t-shirt. This is just a test store here. It also gives you basic details on who came from where. So most of my sessions from the US, there's also one from France. You also get an idea of which stores sessions were visited by which device. So desktop, mobile, other. This one is sales by traffic source. This one is direct. It can also do some basic attribution on how much revenue was generated from which traffic source. These two sessions at the bottom left here are blank, but it gives you an idea of who came from which social channel. You can also see the top referrals for your Shopify store. This section is the top landing pages by session. This shows you which pages customers entered at. For this Shopify store, it is mostly the password page because this store is password protected. But from there, you can see which pages are generating the most number of clicks and the most incoming traffic. From there, you can make some optimizations on how to optimize that landing page. As you can see, a lot of customers are entering through there. Again, here you can also see online store sessions by social source, and there's some basic sales attributed to marketing. You will wanna double check this with your ad accounts and your Google Analytics account to ensure that this is tracking accurately, and you can confidently say which revenue came from which attribution source. So overall, this is the analytics dashboard of your Shopify store. It really gives you a good overall understanding of how your Shopify store is performing without the need for Google Analytics or diving deeper into your ad accounts. But as I mentioned, you will want to cross-reference all of them to get a good idea of how your store is performing to make sure all the analytics are accurate. Moving on to reports here, if you wanted a more in-depth understanding of your store, you can go through these reports and it can give you more detail. These reports are categorized into five different sections. You have your acquisition report, seeing where sources came from and online users came from. 
The next one is behavior. You can see your conversion rates, how your store searches are performing, which landing pages are being used the most. The next report is finances. This gives you an idea of how much revenue, your refunds, your cost of goods sold, your transaction fees, your shipping, and it gives you a breakdown of all of them there. The next one is marketing, and you can attribute different sessions based on the marketing source. And the last one is inventory. This can give you an idea of the inventory levels, your average inventory sold, if you have that set up with your Shopify store. There's also the opportunity to get more reports if you do upgrade your Shopify plan. The third and last section of the Shopify analytics section is your live view. This is more of an exciting thing to see as you see customers going through your website live. Overall, it's not too useful as you don't really wanna be watching this as it's not gonna give you great information as most of the time there's not gonna be too many customers on your website and you can't really control how they are flowing through your website, even if you are watching them live. But it is cool to see, as it gives you a nice world map in terms of viewing where your customers come from. You can see how many sales are being generated right now, and it can be exciting to watch, especially as your Shopify store grows. So overall, that's the Shopify analytics section and how to use it. I hope you got some useful timbits and a better understanding of how to use it and which reports or metrics will be valuable to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, I'd love if you'd smash that like button below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.